you know, thinking about it, I think there is actually like a strategy to killing them. Oh god. Turn around, damn you. There's actually a strategy to killing those guys. Uh, seem obvious which is just to uh, shoot them in the back sort of thing. You have to you have to shoot the hump sort of thing. Which makes sense when you think about it because they're sort of like they're supposed to be possessed guys or possessed girls. You know, let's not get sexist. Anybody can get possessed. I feel like uh, it might be a bad idea to keep shooting them, given how many bullets I used up and how many I have. I mean, I've got a lot, but at the same time, they seem like an ammo drain. I think what you're supposed to do is uh, sort of get behind them uh, with the light off and then shoot them in the back or something. I could be wrong. Wow, this room seems useless. There's not even a thing in here. That's weird. Whoops. Did I miss something? Nope. What's with all the damn crash noises? What's that about? Sound like a stand up comedian. What's that all about? Oh dear. Probably could have just run past him, really, since there's nothing in this room. <sighs> I feel like I'm wasting an unnecessary amount of ammo. What does that mean? A sound is coming from beyond the door. Yeah, I think the thing is, with the light off, you can mostly avoid them. Although, I think that's true of most enemies, I think. Okay. So I can't go down to the basement. Which sounds like a lot of fun. But let's check the second floor first and then go down to the basement, I guess. I guess. Well, it does have stairs. Did not notice these before. Did the non negaverse hospital have oh, have those as well, I can't remember. A 
now he's just copying Resident Evil, having a lot of I never got why there were like Silent Hill fans and then Resident Evil fans. I mean, I know why people like the individual games, but I don't know why like there were camps sort of thing. Because they're both good games. They're both very different types of game. I imagine that's a clue, but I'm really not sure. So I have three of these, I think. Oh, I don't know. Oh, hang on. Maybe that's the play. White. Blue. Orange. Green. Purple. What colour are dandelions? Liquid, so red is in the like the red is the last one, I think. I think dandelions are yellow, aren't they? So we just need uh, what colour is it? A green plate of some kind, I think. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Hmm. Doesn't sound good. I guess this is where the blood pack comes in. What the hell is that? <coughs> oh well, I guess it doesn't matter, I got the plate. Uh, that was the nurse's centre, wasn't it? Oh dear. That was close. probably going to put it in and then I'm going to realise uh, they're all in the wrong places. Oh, it did work. Oh, that's good. The hell? Wow, that's definitely a pose to strike. Uh... 
just a tad unladylike. I have to say, I don't think this is the best operating room I've ever seen, or operating prep room. Not that I've seen a, a huge amount of them. Oh dear. They certainly make some weird sounds. Oh. So is that it? Is that all that's in the room? Guess I could have just run away there really. Mm. Oh dear. Oh. Not today my KK is not in friends. I assume they, they do that since they're nurses. <coughs> so I think that's every floor checked. Uh, well, I can't. There's a door in the medicine room. Uh, um, yeah, the basement and the door in the medicine room, that's it. I wish you marked save spots on this. I can't remember where any of the save spots are. Let's have a look at what we've got in the inventory. Um, I don't think that needs to be used for quite a while. Uh, key to the basement, yeah, that's important. Not sure what to do with that. Not sure what to do with the lighter yet. <laughs> 